Alright everybody, what's going on? This is Gavin. We're here doing, we're here playing a game called, uh, No One Has to Die. It's a game that I heard about a while ago, and, um, my girlfriend actually sent me a list of games that I could try and play while I'm trying to think of another game to do for my next Let's Play. And, uh, this was one of the games on it, and I remembered, you know, uh, why not try it? It's a little, uh, Flash game. I'll put the... Uh, link in the description below. So if you guys want to play it, um, I wouldn't recommend watching this if you're actually, if you're gonna play it because there's gonna be sp this is gonna spoil it for you. It's a sh real short game. Um, this video is probably gonna be about 20 minutes. So uh, let's just get right into it. Phoenix Corporation headquarters security has been compromised. All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged. Security room locked. Emergency services contacted. ETA 3 hours 17 minutes. Visitor has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Hello? Is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? Christina has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. There's a fire! Everybody evacuate the building! Steve has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. <clears throat> Steve! Why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late. Why do you care? Troy has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. Lion has logged on to the Phoenix Corporation Communications Network. This is the CEO of Phoenix Corporation telling everybody in the facility to evacuate the building. Security staff, report in immediately. The security staff are dead. I found them lying dead in the control room. Then I saw a warning on this screen about a fire, so I logged in. Oh no, fire? What happened to them? Oh, sorry. Oh, shit, what voice did I give him? Uh, not important. I killed them. And I lit the fire. How could you, Troy? Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, if you're in the control room, then you'll have to coordinate us in escaping. You'll need one of the security codes. Security codes? The code is RFTS. What? Is this some kind of game to you? Oh. <laughs> Not gonna comment on that one. Security code confirmed. S security system online. Beginning scan. Floor B3. It worked! Now, you may have a very difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B3. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates, Troy and Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor is going to have to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. Kill that asshole. I'm not dying for him. M my job here is done. I'm ready to die. Hmm. I feel like there's more to Troy than he's saying. The fire is growing. Visitor, you will be led through how the system works. Hurry up! Urgent. Please enter your security system orders immediately. The chat system has been locked until your decision is made. One well, will come from here when the switch is on fire, but also drowns people. Oh no! Fire will grow every turn. Okay. Oh no. Whoops. Okay, um, can I go back? Okay. <laughs> I goofed a little bit. So I gotta choose who to kill. Um I'll save this guy. I get. Wait a minute, no. I'll lock it. There we go. Let's do this. Um, how do I. Okay. I think we're good. Alright, so, we killed Troy, 
Because he lit the fire, apparently. The fire has been contained. Casualties? Troy. Phew. That was tense for a bit. Glad that's over. Me too, Steve. How can you talk like that when someone just died? Well, he said he had this coming. He tried to kill us. Well, he did. Really? Pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Ooh, shots fired. Oh, ha, ha. So you two know each other? Yep, me and Steve had the misfortune of working together for the last few years. Tell me about it, Chris. Don't you wish you'd gotten to work in Troy's department instead? Shouldn't you two be looking for a way out? We're not all old like you. We can walk and type, thank you very much. The main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through. I'm having the same problem. I found a staircase up to the next floor, though. Oh, same here. There's one here, too. Shall we head up? Sure, why not? Oh, voice cracked. Can't do that. Okay, I'm heading up now. Beginning scan, floor B2. Our visitor's being very quiet. What's your story? Me? I don't work here. I was just making a delivery. A delivery? Let me guess. Tires? Pop-up books? No, stationary. Those were some strange guesses, though. What exactly do you do here? You know? That's a great question. What do we do here, Lionel? I know you got that message, Lionel. You click the... It's like on Facebook when you click the little message box and it says, Scene... 780... 780, that's not even a time. 7.43 p.m. You know, I know. I know. I know you saw my message. Forget it. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what Phoenix Corporation actually does. So you don't know what your company's doing? The company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and sells it all off for next to no profit. We're, almost, we're all almost certain it's a front. Damn, I forgot her voice. But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, Christina works here because no one else wants her. Ooh, that's different. How about you shut up while I ask Lionel a serious question? I want to know about the cockatiels. Cockatiels? No? Huh? Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we'd be constantly getting in shipments of live cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. Whoa, that is weird. <clears throat> what was going on, Lionel? We were buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. Well, that explains it all. I don't get it. You don't have to get it. <laughs> Lionel, you're a dick. That didn't even answer the question. Has anyone found anything interesting on the second floor? Nope. Nothing much here. Most of this building is reserved for storage. I keep forgetting to give these people their voices. Shouldn't you guys all know your way around this building? Our access to the rooms here is very limited. That would be on your request, wouldn't it, Lionel? Truth be told, I rarely visit myself. I know what facilities this building contains, but I know very little about its layout. You're not a very good CEO, are you? You're just, uh, just blowing smoke out your ass. That's right. It's been in the notices for weeks that you were coming today. Was today something special? I was just dealing with some financial business. Nothing that could have encouraged arson. <laughs> Calculations complete. Fire on floor B2. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates Lionel and Steve. God damn it, not again! Either Lionel or Steve is going to die. As the CEO of this corporation, I must request that you save me. Don't you dare! Please, save Steve! I don't know why this fire was started, but you can be sure Lionel's responsible in some way. But Steve's done nothing wrong. Weren't you just... It's great to hear you sticking up for me once, Chris, but our visitors already saved me once. It's their choice what they do this time around. Weren't they just at each other's throats? Why is she trying to... Visitor, my life is in your hands. Make the right decision. Save me. You will be well compensated. This isn't about money, you asshole. Shut up, both of you. It's getting hot in here. This is up to our visitor. So I have to choose who to save. Oh, I'm definitely locking that. 
Do that. Um. Hmm. Well, I'm going to, uh, just, oh, I can't lock that. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I appear to have made a terrible mistake. Oh, no. Okay, no, I see what I was supposed to do there. Ah, uh, yeah. I killed Lionel. <laughs> I don't care about the money. I want to know what's going on with, uh... I'm, cu I'm more curious about Steve and Christina. Good. Now who's being insensitive? That was the head of our company, Chris. And you chose me over him, visitor? Don't ask me to explain my choices. It makes me sick thinking about what I just had to do. How do you think I feel? I didn't get a choice. What if I wanted to die to save Lionel? As if you would ever sacrifice yourself for anyone. And you would? No, but at least I'm up front about it. Oh, I found a set of stairs. I'm going to head on up. I'm already on the next floor. I just didn't bother saying anything about it. That's a great story. Beginning scan, floor B1. Do you think we get paid overtime for this crap? I don't know. Barely matters, though. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. I thought you guys said that you made good money here. Maybe Troy set the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before you start making jokes about the deceased. Hey, I could be right for all you know. The guy was a whack. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. Ellipses. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. Oh, yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. Oh, I'd forgotten too. That's awful. What can you find out about them? Well, I'm guessing they're dead. I guess I should probably search them, huh? I don't really want to, though. And eh, touching dead people, getting dead cooties, and... Yeah. Uh -huh. Good luck. He must have a stronger stomach than me. Not necessarily. Okay, I'll go look now. Back. Oh, that was fast. I found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Really? What does it say? It's the security code. The one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you surprised, Chris? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyway? What does he get out of it? I don't get it either. Why shoot two people, set a building on fire, and then try to play the hero? It makes no sense to me. Oh, too, too soon, Steve. Too soon. No, it's not funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris? You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot. Eh, I wasn't that fussed on talking to her anyway. You too. Calculations complete. One casualty unavoidable on floor B1. No. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Oh god. I should I, I should have known this was coming, but 
Why, why didn't I see this coming? Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Go up. Maybe, I, yeah, I can go up with Steve. And go up again with Steve. No. Fire would reach her. How do I... How can I save her? No. No. No, 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 no. Okay, so I can't save them both. Oh, no. Oh god, that was a... I almost killed them both. <laughs> ah, that would have actually been really bad. Just off the water, and... No. I'm sorry, Chris. I, I don't know. I. You didn't either. Oh. What? What? How? No. What? No, you didn't. That was it. Was Troy? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. What? What? What did? What? Well, I mean, he died. How? Christina, what kind of experiments? What did they do? Did they like? Are they trying to? Terrible. What? That's not okay. It's disgusting. It's Terrible. No. Well, yes, but you didn't mean to, and no, no, it's no. Big metal door. It's Tempest. What? You don't know what it is, though. It could be dangerous. Hello? Chris? 
What? What? Okay. Oh man. Um shit. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end the episode here, but I'm going to continue playing this and you guys will see the second this will, this will probably be like a two part video, maybe three, depending on how long this is gonna take me, but I don't know, this is getting really intense. Like for a little flash game basically like, I think it's a flash game. It's this is really well done. See you guys in the next part.